So now, here's my issue. The fence is not standing up all the way. And as you tell, you go further this way and it needs to be standing up. Good morning, guys. Today, I'm gonna get right to work. I gotta put the fence in. I need to get my animals up here. So let's get started. Music. All right, so we got it hooked on down there in that corner tree that we're gonna use. And then of course it's running all the way right here. And then I got it hooked up over here with my little uh, contraption that I made, hooked up to the uh, come along and then to the truck. So let's go ahead and pull this tight as we can with the truck and then we'll pull it a little tighter with the come along. And this one will be pretty easy to do.
All right, so I got the truck off, that thing's off. Got my fence on, got all my tools, and I cut myself. Is it really putting fence in, unless you cut yourself? So now, here's my issue. The fence is not standing up all the way. And as you tell, you go further this way, and it needs to be standing up. So that's where all the T-posts come in, and I'm not excited. The reason it is like this is because the ground slopes real bad, so it's trying to pull the fence down. So I'm gonna come in, put T-post, and then uh, pull the fence up as we go. It'll be really tight and kind of a pain in the butt, but that means it's gonna be a nice tight fence, so totally cool.
All right, so you can see I got the fence all the way around this. I got some T-post in. I'll eventually put a gate right here so I can go through. That'll be later. Then I got T-post around this tree over here. I do have another trail camera. This is the one that I, uh, I've had for a long time. I keep it up so I can kind of spy on what animals come up. I know a lot of you were saying I should keep that other trail camera I'm doing the review on, but I've got two more trail cameras, so I'm good. And then the fence goes down there and then connects to the tree. It's not 100% done. I just kind of have it connected a little bit to hold it up for now. And then once I get the fence all the way up and then I'll go back and uh, put a lot more wire. This is really lightweight wire. I'm gonna get some heavy duty wire and wire it up, but I still need to do the back side. So I'm gonna do that off camera. It's just too much of a pain in the butt to have to uh, film and work, stuff like that. So, I'm just gonna keep working and I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, back side of that so I can get the fence done and get my animals up here. Whew. I'll get it done. All right, so now that I'm done messing with the fence for now, let's go check the uh, trail cam over here that I put that I'm gonna do the review. Let's see if anything even got the corn or whatever. So we'll check on that as soon as I get down here. All right, so the trail camera's here and the corn's still there so unfortunately i looked on here no pictures no video no nothing so i think i need to put some uh fresher corn out this wasn't the best corn it's been sitting for a while some of it was green so i need to go into town next time and get some more fresh corn so i can put it out and then i'll make sure to do do the review on that camera i'm not gonna just do a stupid review on it if I didn't actually test it out so I'm actually going to uh, make sure it works show you guys some video some photos from it and if for some reason I don't get any deer in the next day or so then uh, you'll get to see videos and photos of me running in front of the camera so either way we'll get a review out of it all right guys you know I like to exercise about an hour a day and so uh Got this hoop here, but the net's all messed up. So I bought a new net for uh, hopefully all the kids around here can come play some basketball and know if they actually made it. So let's put this net on and let's exercise for just a minute. So let's take this nasty net and turn it into something better. All right, now we have a real net. Let's play some ball. First shot, first shot, yeah. My shoe came off. It's not easy playing on a hoop that's bent. All right, this is the dunk right here. All right, this is the dunk right here. Can't win them all. Okay, for real this time, a dunk. I'll stick to my jump shots. All right, so we're back over here at the fence. Kind of like I said earlier, right here, I need to put a gate in. That way I can go to the tent, 
go to the cabin and stuff like that and it just be real easy in and out i don't want a gate or a yeah a gate on the front at least not right now until i'm a little more established here i'm going to try to keep all the gates and everything away from the front of course this is not very far away but at least it's not right up on the front so it is kind of a pain in the butt to dig here i could dig some but not really really great do y'all have any tips or tricks that i could put two uh, posts coming up and a gate without digging too much uh i'm thinking maybe if i can get some kind of i don't know if i can get railroad ties if that'd be enough and kind of lay them down and then build up from that and kind of build the uh build it out like an h on each side and i'll hold it up maybe i don't know you guys tell me i've never had to deal with rock like this before where i'm from in texas it's either clay sand or just super hard dirt so i've never had to uh, dig through rocks so let me know your advice on what i should do to put a gate here without killing myself for days and days and days digging through this rock deep enough to put fence posts and cement cement them in so comment down below and let me know because i need some help all right guys i know i didn't show too much of me working on the fence today like i said it's just super super hard to get a lot done and film and all that and i need to get the fence done asap so i am going to sawyer ridge's house and we're going to try to uh do a lot of work there kind of hang out and you know whatnot and i think they have dinner that they're gonna have made and all this stuff so it's gonna be really cool i'm gonna go over there and help them do all that and then hopefully bring some cedar trees home with me some smaller ones so i can mill them up and then hopefully we could really stack up a big pile of them there and then potentially i could take the sawmill there and help them out and all that kind of stuff i'll be there thursday and then friday i'll be back over here working on the rest of my fence i have very little left and then this weekend i guess on saturday and sunday and then possibly monday i'll be in the dallas area taking care of some things that i gotta uh finalize and all that type of stuff and then bring back hopefully my animals and other things that i've got i've gotten solar sponsorships and stuff like that so i have a lot of stuff there that i need to bring back over here so i could keep my life moving so guys get ready for Sawyer Ridge Farm. I'm going to be over there. I'm going to help them do a lot of stuff and we're going to get a lot of trees that I can start milling up cedar trees for the house. Oh, I am so excited. You have no idea. So guys stick around tomorrow. It's going to be an awesome video and then I'll be going live I don't know when. Sometime very soon. It may be a surprise. I may be able to tell you guys in advance. I don't know but I will be going live again because I absolutely love talking to you guys and that's probably the best part of my week is going live because it's just instant right there with you guys and I love it and I appreciate all you guys that watch. So if you did like this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Even if you've already subscribed and hit the notification bell, go back and make sure that you still are because YouTube, for whatever reason, unsubscribes people, turns the notifications off and all that type of stuff. It's been happening for so long, don't know why, it's YouTube. But guys, we'll see you on the next one. And if you don't know, I have a side channel called Coffee with the Crockers. That's where I do all my talking. If you'd like to hear me talk, behind the scenes stuff, stuff going on in my personal life, whatever the case may be, I just talk about stuff on there. So I think it'd be really cool maybe by the end of the month if I can get 10,000 subscribers. Come on, guys, you can help me out. I don't know. It, it'd be a... Um, my mind would be blown if that happens. I think I'm at almost 8,000 or something. But it's just personal goal. I'm going to try to push, 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 do better and better, better every single day. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and your day gets better and better and better. So we'll see y'all later on another episode of The Crockers.